Hey guys, it's Daniel here with uh, Bridgetown Fire, and I just wanted to give a quick rundown of uh, how to set up membership tracking on your Android device. I unfortunately don't own an iOS device, but uh, I'm going to attempt to get a hold of one so I can do a video similarly for an iOS device for the Apple phone or the iPhone users. Sorry, Apple phone. Anyways, I just want to do a quick rundown. Uh, before we do get started, your system administrator will have had to uh, gone in and enabled, and enabled the um, membership tracking abilities on the system side through the system functions. Uh, if that is not done, none of this will matter. So you do have to make sure that your system administrator does have the membership tracking enabled. So let's get started. First off, we'll go ahead and launch the I Am Responding app. Um, as most of you are used to this, this is the dashboard or the display screen. Um, and this is what most people run into when they uh, launch the application uh, from the desktop. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the uh, to the settings area and or the menu and go into settings. So right here, we're going to go into settings and uh, bring up the added agency settings. Most people are familiar with this screen. Uh, this is a screen you were brought to when you initially set your I am responding up on your phone with your profile information. But after that point, most times we don't end up going back in here. So uh, membership tracking, how it works is as soon as you acknowledge that you are responding through the I am responding application, it will track your GPS location of your phone. It refreshes approximately every 50 meters or five minutes. So if you're sitting still, it'll update every five minutes. Every 50 meters you go down the road, it'll update on the map as well. And this display is on the map both for your members to see, um, if you have a station screen, or if your chief has a uh, iPad or whatnot, any device that's logged in that can view the map will be able to track you, uh, as long as you indicate that you are responding. So we're gonna scroll down here um, to the mapping settings and right here, uh, I'm just going to highlight this row right here. Track me after responding. That is where we want to be. Um, that is the setting that we want to adjust. Generally, um, if you notice right here, it says 20 minutes. Uh, for the initial time when you go in, it actually is either blank or it says disabled. So we're going to select that feature. And as you can see, you see tracking time. So what the tracking time is, is... That is the amount of time after you indicate you're responding that it tracks your phone. So if you indicate that you're responding and you only select five minutes, it will track your location for five minutes. And after that, it will stop. Uh, likewise, for 10 minutes, 15 minutes, and 20 minutes. Now, there are some different theories with this. Um, with the tracking itself, it's good maybe to select a little bit longer. For instance, if you're responding to the station, especially for the volunteers out there, um, if you're responding to the station and you want to, it only takes you five minutes to get there, you've indicated that you're responding, but there's really bad weather out there, let's say a snowstorm, and you allow the tracking to continue. God forbid, but if you do end up putting your vehicle in the ditch, um, if you have it set that it tracks your phone a little bit longer than what it would have taken, uh, at least then there's a GPS location. It's kind of a safety feature too. Uh, and that's just one way to look at it. Um, others may not see it that way, that's fine, but that's just one way to look at it. So for this instance, we're going to select 20 minutes. So what I've done is I selected us to um, be able to be tracked for 20 minutes after I select in the application that I, um, that I will uh, want to be tracked for 20 minutes. So boom, track me after I respond, 20 minutes. Uh, my aim's off with the drawing, I'm sorry. <laughs> so if you go down to the bottom here, um, part of the puzzle that I find is uh, crucial to making this work seamlessly is to actually select your, um, when you, what happens when an incident arrives. So when you receive a dispatch message, uh, if you look here under incident settings, there is a, uh, setting here that says when a new incident arrives. So what we need to do, uh, is we go in here and you can open that up. Now there's two different options, simple notification and pop-up window. Well, simple notification, that is just like an email or a text. It just kind of goes up, whoop, let me, it kind of just goes up in this area right here where you'd have a new email selection or whatnot. Now if you select the 
uh, pop-up window right here. Uh, it's a different notification. Just hold on, let me bring that up. Uh, and this is kind of the notification that you will see. This is a screen capture that I took. So if you select pop-up window under incident notifications, uh, you get these different options. You got the open, that'll just open the application. Uh, if you select the respond, no GPS, it will actually send your response in to call in to say that you are responding, but it doesn't track your phone. Uh, the one that I use the most is actually respond and map. Uh, you can also just do respond in detail. And the respond in detail will just go to the actual incident window. So if you select these two, that will start the tracking process. So these two right here will start the tracking process for the membership tracking. The nice thing about having this pop-up window is if you are running out the door to your vehicle, uh, it doesn't take a lot of thought process or a lot of figuring out and fumbling with your phone to actually indicate that you are responding to the app. It's just a pop-up, you hit the button, throw it on the passenger seat when you get in the car, and you don't have to worry about it the rest of the time. Whereas if you only select a simple notification, you'll have to actually uh, go and uh, open it up and go into incidents and then indicate that you're responding. So that's kind of key. So I highly recommend using pop-up window. As far as anything else goes, uh, you do have to also, um, I believe, yes, you would have to check mark the notifications. Even though you may not want a wing, ring tone, um, you do have to select notifications for that pop-up to come up. So check this box right here, and then make sure that this has pop-up window on it, and then you're good to go. So we're going to go ahead and hit done on that phone or on that uh, option. So now my incident settings have been updated. All right, so we're still at the dashboard. Let's go into incidents, and then I'm gonna go into incidents right here. This is an incident that we had last night. Um, and you can go respond now, and go scene. Response sent. So let's back out here. So if you go back to the main dashboard, as you can see, I now, by doing that, I have indicated that I am responding to the scene. Also, if I go into mapping, you'll actually be able to see my car icon. So we're gonna zoom in a little bit because no icons will uh, become visible this far out. Go in a little bit. And there you go. There I am. And you'll be able to watch me. My fire station's right here. So you'll be able to watch me drive down and go down the street and go to the fire hall. Or if I'm going to the scene, I could do it that way too. At any time, you can also hit stop tracking me. And then it will actually disappear. The only other thing you got to do is you got to go back to the dashboard and clear you're now responding so that's basically how to set up membership tracking on your phone uh, within your profile you can select your default response so that way you're five minutes out from the fire station um, by default also the color that you want to be shown on the map um, whether you want it to be red or green or black or white car uh, you can select it right on the map so that is a quick tutorial guys of how to do your um, membership mapping on an Android device. Um, so I hope you uh, use it. Uh, I hope that uh, it works well for you. And uh, have a great night, and thanks for watching. And again, it's Daniel Cheese with Bridgetown Fire with a demonstration on the I Am Responding membership tracking with an Android device.